Today, we're going to be looking at some hidden features of your BMW. So the first feature is going to have to be the key fob. When you lock the car using your keys and you try putting your key into the key fob, the car will automatically unlock all the doors. I don't know for what reason this is, but this is one of the hidden features I've noticed. And right now the doors are unlocked as you can tell right there. So when I lock the car, it goes down. Once I insert into the key fob, even just getting close to it unlocks all the doors. I'm going to do it again. I'm not putting my fingers anywhere around the buttons. I'm holding from around it. I'm going to click the button, put it right into the key fob, and all the doors unlocked. As just as soon as you put in the key fob, even gets close to the key fob, it unlocks sometimes. And this next feature is going to have to be the side mirror. Um, one really useful feature that I always use when I reverse into a parking spot is my side mirror. It goes toward the ground. I know some of you guys think that it's a certain feature. I know people think they don't have that feature. So this comes in all cars, but you have to have your mirror locked into the left instead of your right. If the mirror is locked into your right, the mirror is not going to fold down whenever you put your car in a reverse. So right now, as you can tell right there, the car, the, the side mirrors the, where you can adjust is on the left. If it's on the left, match. and I put the car into reverse, the side mirror goes down. And when I put it back in the park, the side mirror goes back up. Now if this was on the left hand side, if I put this into reverse, nothing would happen. And most people don't know about this, but if your car is left on the left and never really edited it or anything like that, uh, your side mirror won't go back down. As you can tell, the car is in reverse and the side mirror isn't folding down. The third coolest feature has to be the one, two, three, the three buttons that's on your rear view mirror. Now, if you guys never ever use this and you don't know what they're used for, they're actually really cool. So cool things about BMWs and most of them have them is the one, two, three. You have three buttons here, and um, each one represents a different door you want to unlock. Uh, this could be your garage door for your house, it could be the gates to your house, it could be in your friend's house. Um, you don't need three different garage openers, you can just click the buttons and it'll open it up your, uh, automatically. Another interesting feature that mine doesn't have, but it does have the red bulb. Now I know a lot of people have been saying, what is this bulb used for? This uh, red little, they call it like the reindeer nose or something like that. They're like, what is this thing used for? So this right here, you can't uh, twist it or anything for the 2006s. I know for the 2008 and up, um, or I, I believe the 2009, it's the newer E90. When you turn this thing, uh, your rear view mirror kind of dims or goes up just a little bit. So if there's a car behind you with high beams on, uh, it will basically kind of dim it down or it will like adjust the mirror slightly differently so the, the light won't hit you directly in the eyes and bother your driving. The fifth hidden feature is this two side mirrors. Now your side mirrors, even when they're folded down in park and you have the car off or whatever, for whatever reason you have them folded down, they will open up at 25 miles per hour. All right, so the side mirrors is up. We're gonna drive past 25, we're at 20, and now we at 25. And as you can see, the mirrors unfold on their own. I didn't click any buttons, got one hand on the wheel, one hand right here. So another feature that I really, really, really like is the fact that if, you're, if your remote dies, you have a backup key. Now, every single BMW comes with a backup key. It's called, it's like a glove box safety key. But if you buy it used, it won't, it most likely won't come with it. People tend to lose them. This usually gets put into your wallet. So if you lose your keys or your keys is just not working, period, um because the battery and whatnot you have a backup key this can also unlock the front this door right here and some cars have an alarm so as soon as you unlock it you may have to just go into the car and unlock the doors it gives you a little bit of a grace period and then you get into the glove box and you put in the key and you basically turn on the car let me show you guys how you do it so if your bmw came with this spare key like mine this is really cool the feature that it includes so Basically, you have two um, two keys right here. You have your your main key, your spare key, and then kind of like a valet slash whatever key. Um, so if your batteries die and whatever, you lost your keys, it's just it's not working. You basically go into your glove box. Once you're in your glove box, is this thing uh, that kind of looks like your keys. You can see like pretty much the back of it's kind of identical. You just take it out. It just looks like a, basically a spare key. 
all you want to do is just insert your key into this uh, this this compartment. Once it's in there, it's gonna allow you to put the key into the car, and you're going to be able to turn on your car using the spare key. So a feature I just ran into while showing you guys the key thing in the glove box, I saw this light. So I was like wondering, what is this? It's not on. I already have a glove box light, so I went to go look at it. As I go into the glove box. There's this little light light right here. So I pulled it out. And I noticed it's a BMW spare light. I'm guessing when the car is dead or something happens, uh I don't know, it's dark. I don't you need a spare light. The BMW gives you a spare light to use. So um this is pretty cool. As you can tell, it charges from the inside of your car. Um and basically if you ever need a flashlight, the BMW's got you. Alright guys, so this is kind of shocking for me. I I just ran into a few more neat features, like features I didn't even know my car had until I was showing you guys these other features. So I was looking at my keys. I got the spare key, the valet key. I have my actual spare key, and then I have my actual key that I use on the daily. So when you put this into the car, your side mirrors adjust, all your settings will adjust, and your air conditioning and your seat, I don't know about the seats, but air conditioning, all that stuff will adjust to this setting. Now, it's not because the car was like at, was like this before you turned it off, it's because it's programmed with the key. If I put in this key, the mirrors will adjust to the driver's settings with this key, and it will change the air conditioning to what it was with this key. So like each one of these has its own memory. It has like basically a memory card in here, once you put it in the car, the car scans it and does the settings for you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. As soon as I put my main keys into the car, because I just had the valet keys, as soon as I put this in here, you're going to see my side mirror just adjusted. All right. Not just my side mirror. Not only that, when I turn on the car, you're going to notice that my air conditioning is set at 84. So this is programmed with this key. If I take this key out, take this key out, put in my other key, the mirrors will adjust, and when I turn on the car, it's set to 80, because that was the original temperature that it was on. You can see the air conditioning was on cold, last time it was set with this one, everything changed, it was on FM instead of auxiliary, if you guys can see that, um, the music was turned off, these settings were all recorded on this key. Another neat feature, and this is the last feature, I promise you guys, I'm just keep running into more and more features, is that this key, the valet key, um, if you don't trust the person you're giving your keys to, that's why there's a valet key, you don't trust them with your keys, because your keys has full access to your car, they can change your settings, there's a reason why there's a valet key. Once you put it into the car ignition, um, you will have an option to lock your trunk. So if you don't trust your your basically the valet going into your trunk, opening up any of the things in your car, he won't have access to it unless he has access to the glove box, which you can lock it with your keys. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. I ran into some features myself. I enjoyed making this video. This is one of those few videos that you really get into it. Like I really enjoyed making my own video. Um, I realized there's a lot more features in this car and I'm sure I'm just going to run into more and more in the future. This car was one of the best investments I ever had and I just want to thank you guys for checking out my videos. It really means a lot. I've gained a few subscribers. I actually gained 10 in the last two weeks, which is, in my opinion, a great growth. I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys did enjoy these features, you want me to check out some other ones and show you guys a new video in the future, just let me know. All right, guys, take it easy. When they see me pulling up, all they do is show me love Cause they know I'm coming through in a foreign foreign Only say that I'm the man when I make a hundred grand Cause you know I'm coming through in a foreign foreign uh,